Hey guys, it's GB here with another Fix It Friday video. I've got a CRT monitor on the uh, workbench and we're going to be talking about static ring convergence. Uh, this is something that is pretty uh, confusing for most people but isn't really all that hard. So we're going to go through the steps and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, first we'll talk about what convergence is. As you can see in these uh, scores there, um, that the red, the green, and the blue guns are not lining up very well. And uh, you're getting these really weird um, color offsets, and uh, it's just it just looks wrong. So to demonstrate that even better, I'm going to bring up a uh, test raster here. And uh, to do this, you really need like a, a crosshatch or a dot, um, a dot grid. I don't have one of those, um, so this will have to do here. It'll do pretty well. As you can see, the uh, the red and the blue guns are not lined up, and neither is green. Um, and to do that, uh, we adjust these rings uh, back here at the neck of the tube. Now, these rings have uh, different purposes. The first set of rings is to adjust the purity, um, and we'll talk about what that is here in just a second. The second set of rings uh, will set your blue and red convergence, and the third set of rings sets your green convergence in relation to uh, red and uh, blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can see a little better here. There we go. Alright, so the first thing that we need to talk about is the purity rings and to do that I'm gonna disconnect the green and uh, blue rasters. And you can already see that we have a small amount of a purity problem. Um, if you look in the, the left hand side of the screen, there's some kind of blue up there over in the um, in the red. And I think I can exaggerate that even further. Yeah, okay. So this is an, a, a good example of a purity problem. Now, if you are trying to, to uh, to do your convergence, I would definitely suggest that you try to set that first because the person or the, the company that made the monitor uh, did set the purity pretty well when it left the factory and it probably has not changed. So if I honestly would not mess with this much, but just for the sake of argument, we're going to go ahead and set that. And that one is, um, you'll just have to experiment by uh, separating the rings and then spinning them together around the yoke and that's really the whole thought process behind um, behind setting these is uh, this idea of separating or spinning them together around the yoke and so like I said this set of rings the second set of rings uh, from the rear um, adjust your red and blue convergence. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect the green gun and all I'm doing to disconnect the guns is I'm turning off the signals as they come through the cable. Um, it just kind of helps narrow down your options. Now actually that that works pretty well um, but as you can see as I move this they're moving together and so you get an overall vertical movement um, but you get some horizontal movement and then as you bring them together you'll get you know a less less of that arc see as I bring them apart they get that big arc and as I bring them let's see as I get them closer together I get a smaller arc so oh nuts so if you want to bring them together closer and move that arc again. Let's try that one more time. Separate them just a little bit. Okay, so I am pretty happy with that and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the green gun on. And uh, well just to demonstrate what I did there like I said, if you move them together, it moves that small little arc around. So, and then if you separate it, you make that arc wider. Uh, it's, it's not moving perfectly. But as you bring them together, it brings that arc closer. 
And so you can use that to kind of, you'll have to play with it, but it makes a lot of sense when you're doing it. Now let's go ahead and connect the green gun and we'll do the same thing. And actually, I'm really pretty happy with what we've got, but I'm just gonna, it does the same thing with that arc that I was telling you about. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate it just a hair. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Um, the last thing we need to do is just disconnect our guns and check and make sure we haven't messed our purity up. Uh, so red looks good. Let's try green. Green looks great. Let's see, blue. Blue looks great. And then we're done. That is all you have to do to set the convergence. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn our game back on. And you can see that we've got really bright colors um, and, and you don't see any offsets or uh, any major problems, um, especially here. I mean, that game looks great. Um, so if this helped you, uh, go ahead and click subscribe and uh, like my um, video. It really helps me out a lot. And um, just stay tuned for more uh, Fix It Friday videos and more videos from Create. And thank you very much. And as always, I'm GB and we'll see you next time.